Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily Hessler. Today we're gonna create a um, very like spring themed card uh, and uh, it's a technique that I haven't done in a couple of um, actually months. So I'm really happy to finally be able to use my markers again and to create a fun card. To start off I'm using a new to me stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I ordered this in November last year and I haven't been like getting around to using it until now. So I actually started off by creating some masks uh, for the larger images in this set and uh, then I'm gonna keep stamping a couple of clusters here. And this stamp set is called Sketchy Ranunculus and as I said they are from Simon Says Stamp. Um, and the paper I'm using today is a Bristol Smooth uh, Strathmore Bristol uh, Smooth paper and I have just cut it down to a um, smaller size to make it more handy to use and here you can see when I'm peeling off the masks here on the first cluster how the image is looking and I really liked how it turned out I'm gonna keep stamping on this uh, background and I'm using Versa Fine uh, Onyx Black ink and this is a waterproofed uh, ink, black ink and uh, later on I'm gonna use a couple of markers and that is Sid Sig markers and um, they are called Sig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and I got a pack of uh, 48 colors so if you got that you're gonna have all the markers that I'm using today and I don't think you have to have that many colors uh, I just bought it because it was a great deal for me uh, when I actually saw it and I purchased it and I don't know if that deal is around anymore I bought them from Amazon I think um, yeah so here you can see I'm just filling in this panel a little bit more and here I'm showing you uh, I think I'm showing you all the colors that we're going to use in this project. I cannot read because my screen is a little bit too little, but if you want to know it, you can actually pause this video and you can read the numbers and the names of all the colors that I'm using. To start off, I am taking the lightest shade of pink and just going around that larger image and then I'm going in with a darker pink color uh, to some of the parts and then I'm smoothing these uh, colors out. Uh, I love these markers since they are water based. You can use them with a water brush or a water pencil or whatever but you can also go marker to marker uh, which means that you can actually use them to blend each other out. So really like that. I decided that that red actually was a little bit too um, dark uh, compared to the lightest color that I'm using here. So I will smooth that out really much with that uh, lighter color and uh, take some colors away. And I also decided that this uh, color combination was a little bit too dark. So you will see in the next one that I'm using uh, a turquoise green color and a light green color uh, just to get some nice effects here between those two colors. And I have sped up this process I think four times so I'm actually not coloring this fast in real life. Um, so uh, uh, I'm taking my time here just uh, scribbling on some colors and going over the images. And I don't know if you can see it but I got a lot of inks uh, like splatters where I didn't want them. So I'm heavy handily going over uh, the parts where I got uh, some ink uh, where I didn't want it um, since I accidentally put my hand in it and smeared it all and I'm using this um, mono eraser I'm sorry about the sound but I'm just taking it out of my drawer it's a called sand eraser and it's a mono sand eraser from Tombow and I really like it because it, they, uh, it fixes all my mistakes and I have been using it for quite some time now and it lasts me like forever I think. So here you can see I'm soon finished with the whole panel here and I'm just going over the last images here and then we're gonna make some contrasts 
I'm going to take a gray marker and scribble it onto acrylic block and then I'm going to pick it up with a water um, pen. Is it called a water pen? I don't know. Here you can see it's a quite light go uh, gray color and I'm just picking it up with some water and then going around all the images just to fill it out so you get some contrasting colors and I think it is when you do this step that the colors of the images really pop and you create some interest. I wasn't that patient. As you can see in some of the finishing photos I got some smears but I don't, I don't think that's a problem. I really like that actually uh, because it just shows that it's homemade. And I also splattered it with some black and white splatters. And now I'm gonna do a new to me technique. I actually watched uh, another great YouTuber here that creates these uh, lines, um, these like embossed lines with a bone folder and a scoring board like this. And I thought that was so cool, so I just had to try it. And here I'm just counting <laughs> how many uh, like um, steps I'm gonna take out just to be on the right spot. And you will see in the um, in later on here I'm not gonna be that careful, and I think some of the lines might have been ending up on the wrong like space spaced out the wrong way uh, later on on that same line. But that's okay, I don't think you will see it that much and it didn't bother me so I decided not to fussy with it anymore and just go with my guts and like place them out where I thought it would look great. I will link uh, that YouTuber down below, I think her name is Janas Makolo. I'm not sure exactly how she pronounced her name so that is why I'm a little bit hesitating on uh, like calling it out. But she's great and I will link her YouTube channel down below. Uh, for the sentiment for this card I used uh, also some Versafine Onyx Black and I used my Misty because I didn't want to mess this up at this point. And I used a sentiment from the same stamp set as the flowers are from and it's gonna say you are amazing. And I think uh, anyone would be like happy to get this uh, spring card with that message on top of it. Hopefully anyway. <laughs> And I also went around the border and decorated with a die from Lon Fon. It's a stitched inside out uh, rectangle that I used. And to fill out this image a little bit more, I took some of the smaller like drops in this set and went around the image. And for the card base, I'm gonna use a light gray card base here. And I just squared it at five and a half and it's a four and a quarter four and a quarter by five and a half it's an a2 standard sized card base and um, i'm taking some strong uh, adhesive to the back side because i got some warping to this panel and i didn't want that to end up in the finishing so i took a lot of glue and to finish it off i of course use my favorite pretty pink parts sequence in the clear mix and I scattered them around the card and adhered them with some multimedia mat. And I used my quick stick tool uh, to help me pick them up and place them down again. And here is a finishing like photos of how it looked. And I hope you liked this. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel here at YouTube. You can also visit my blog. I will leave a link down below for you. Until next time, have a great day.